Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Welcome to Momentos de Tecnología. In this uh, quick video, we're going to show you how to configure your first access point, uh, Unify access point, based on the, the application downloaded from their page. Uh, this is the array that we have found. Uh, the, the black cable comes from the router, the blue one goes to an access point, and the red one goes to another access point. In this case, we have an AP uh, long range and an AP AC light. That's all, no more. Uh, right here, we're going to go to the ubnt.com uh, downloads page and we're going to download this file that is under the, under the Unify um, tab, which gives us uh, the, the software that we need. Then we're going to follow the instructions, like I said, uh, which is a very quick process and uh, it is going to act, uh, load a service that you might want to add to the startup uh, automatically if you're going to uh, manage these devices continuously. After that, you're going to see that this little toolbox opens and it's a starting the controller. Then the firewall kicks in and asks you to mm, provide access to, the, to this application that we see here. This one is the application that is running every time the controller is running. Okay, let's open it. We're going to launch the browser. Okay, I don't like this browser. Uh, we're going to close it, launch the browser. Uh, let's copy the, 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 the web address and let's go to Chrome. Right here in Chrome, it is going to ask you, uh, wait a minute, right here in advanced configuration, it is going to ask you to uh, access this host, which may be the, the certificate may not be found as be to be trustworthy. Right here, it's going to ask you for the country. This is the setup that is being done with uh, through the web page of your local host. Right here, the auto backup, we're going to let it happen. Right here, it found my two access point, uh, my two access points in my network. Um, it shows me which kind of device it is, AC long range, and the other one is an AC Pro. Mm, right here, we're going to uncheck one of these. Uh, right here. We're going to uncheck it and we're going to adopt only one and configure only one. If we click next, we right here enter the name of our network, right here the security kit, the security key, and we're going to mm, enable down here the guest access. Uh, we're going to put just my guests. And after that, we're going to uh, choose a password for the controller. This is very important. Uh, it's a question that a lot of people has made. Uh, how do we reset the password or, or we, how do we find it? And it's a very difficult process. Right here is like a summary and that's all. You are ready to just click finish. And after you click finish right here, your device is going to start rebooting and it is going to be accepting the changes that you just made through the web page. And that's all. One piece of advice, uh, the latest controller that you can find right now in the page of Unify, it is going to ask you for a device username and password, which is not exactly the same username and password for the controller. You're going to find username and password for the controller, and you're going to find username and password for the device. This device password is the one that you're going to use in case that your device, uh, your controller fails, and you need to adopt your devices from another controller. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you next time.